Hello everyone. We are going to discuss about data connectivity issue with uh, Informatica Cloud. I have logged in with my Informatica Cloud. First, I'm checking the my runtime environment. Both the cloud and the local secure agent is running fine, up and running fine. I'm closing it. Go to connection and checking the connectivity that I have created for the Oracle database. Let's test the connection. I have provided uh, all the authentication details, username, password, host, import, service name. Now test the connection. The connection is successful. Let's go to the data integration. I have already created the mapping. Let's verify the source information. So I have chosen the connection oracle, source type is single object, and the table name. Let me select the table name. I selected the employee. You OK. And uh, verifying the fields. Selecting all the source fields, checking the partition and previewing the data. So I give continue as while previewing itself. No, just keep the run. While previewing itself, I'm getting the error, which is uh, R4036 error connected to the database. So the data source name not found, no default driver specified for database driver error. So the basic error is driver it is not present. I have given the host name correct and service name correct and port number correct. UAD is correct. Let's go and uh, preview the target properties. Let's check the incoming fields and uh, select the target database three table. Employee depth one and target fields. Selecting all the target fields and mapping with a smart app. Save. So I have saved the mapping. It's showing it's valid. Let's run the mapping. So run. So the, the mapping started running. Uh, it's got failed. Let's go and download the session log. The session log shows the information about error. So database error failed to connect database using user HR and string the driver and here I'll just mention the driver database which was used. It's same as when we preview the source table. Let's open the let's open the ODBC driver and check the database driver what we have used and uh, check driver it is data direct 8.0 oracle wire protocol but what it is referred in the cloud it is different so uh, this is the error this is the issue actually we have to modify it let's remove the existing oracle source from the odbc driver click remove and click s we have removed the existing oracle source click okay Go to the registry editor and open the registry editor as an administrator and go to the computer and the high location machine and software and go to the ODBC and uh, ODBC CNT.in and open the ODBC driver. So here are the step two what we have to follow for podcast. And this is the where we have to go into regedit. And uh, here we have to add the driver. So right click new and string value. We have broken string value. Just right click new string value and provide the driver name what it was referring in the cloud, Oracle Cloud. So that's we have already copied here. Just take off take copy of this. And uh, paste it here as a new driver and uh, data value has installed. Just modify and give the value as installed. 
Thank you. Okay. The name is as we expected. Go to step five. Go to step computer. And uh, computer, hey, location, permission, software, and what do we see? And then go into this INA place. And uh, we don't find such name, driver name here. So just take a snapshot of this existing Oracle Y protocol, which will be uh, used to, to create like a configure the new data directory Oracle Y protocol with the expected name. I just take a snapshot of it. Okay, just go back to the registry edit. So step four, yeah. So this is what check for this name. It is not present, so we have to create the new one. Yeah, it is not present. Right click that uh, ODBC INST INI. Before going to that, just click copy it and right click this one, create a new key and uh, keep the driver name here. Okay, and uh, create a configuration members here like a string values here create new start with the first string value just refer to what we have taken the screenshot first is api level give the value and then rename it as api level We get the next string value, connect functions, and the data value is y y y. String value, connect functions, value y y y. The name should be same as it is. So I think I have missed it today. I replace a green name with the connect key and, and create a new string value. See the note and the value is 60. Just hit it again and uh, give the value 60. Give OK. And the uh, next string is driver and the driver name, which we need to find it from our Oracle database where it is installed. So driver. Value we need to find it from our Oracle database where it is installed. Just go to place where it is installed. It is Informatica Cloud Secure Agent in C drive. Informatica Cloud Secure Agent driver ODBC data database uh, DWO or 828, which we which is what we need to use as a driver path. Copy the path and uh, the driver value to be placed this one and remove the double quotes in the front and um, the end of this value give ok go to the again just refer the driver odbc version from the snapshot we taken and create the new string value and give the name driver odbc version and the value is 3.52 And the file usage string. The value is zero. And the next string is help root directory. So this is also we are going to find it from our cloud locals, like locals agents, local secure agent, where that where we have installed our secure agent, local secure agent help root directory just uh, go to the c drive it's the same like under data direct help just copy the path and go back to registry editor and click and uh, do all the double quotes front and back give ok and the next uh, string value is setup 
set up also same the driver uh, what we have taken from that uh, local secure agent where it is installed just go to the cloud local secure agent area base and then same name like a dw or a28 copy the path the copy as path and uh, just give the value for the setup remove the front and back uh, double quotes give okay and add the sql level string value level and give the value as one okay and create the usage level so usage count and give the value one refresh we no need to reboot our uh, machine just a refresh is enough so it is a uh, came up here let's open the odbc driver add the driver just configure the data source with uh, the new driver we have included data source name oracle source and the description is the oracle source and uh, i use the standard connection information so what i have it with my oracle database host name local host and port number 1521 and service name it is xpdb1 this is what i have it with my oracle database so similarly like if you have something you can add it yours and i give the credential username password etc and uh, this connection is passed connection is established Give okay and close this ODBC driver. Let's verify the table, source table and uh, target table. This is a target table. It has zero records, and this is a source table. Let's go back to the informative cloud and uh, restarting it. Just click restart and run. It has restarted. Starting after a refresh, it will give the update. I hope this time it will run fine. Yeah, this time it went fine. Status is success and a source oracle success rows 50 and target table 50 rows success rows and affected rows 50. Let verify the oracle database. This is source table. We have 50 records and this is a target table. It has copied 50 records for a Linux machine. We have to configure like this the server and we have to restart the mapping what we created. Thanks for watching my video.